Branches of the brachial artery contributes to the anastomosis of the circulation around which of the following joint? The options are acromioclavicular joint, elbow joint, glenohumeral joint, head of the humerus. The vessels engaged in the anastomosis around the elbow joint can be conveniently divided into those situated in front of and those behind the medial and lateral epicondyle of the humerus. The branches anastomose in front of the medial epicondyle are the anterior branch of the inferior ulnar collateral and the anterior ulnar recurrent, and the anterior branch of the superior ulnar collateral. Those behind the medial epicondyle are the inferior ulnar collateral, the posterior ulnar recurrent, and the posterior branch of the superior ulnar collateral. The branches anastomosing in front of the lateral epicondyle are the radial recurrent and the terminal part of the profunda brachii. Those behind the lateral epicondyle perhaps more properly described as being situated between the lateral epicondyle and the olecranon, are the inferior ulnar collateral, the interosseous recurrent, and the radial collateral branch of profunda brachii. There is also an arch of the anastomosis above the olecranon formed by the interosseous recurrent joining with the inferior ulnar collateral and posterior ulnar recurrent. <laughs>